Weddings today can be elaborate productions documented by a crew of professionals who capture hundreds, if not thousands, of candid images and videos of the Nupital Grandios. But let's wind the tape to see how it all began. Before the invention of the earliest cameras, there were no photographs. People resorted to paintings that were admittedly beautiful but took a great deal of time and a lot depended on the artist's skill. Wedding photography dates back to the early 1800s. It is said that Queen Victoria and Prince Albert were the first couple to have a wedding picture taken. In fact, this was 14 years after their actual wedding day. In the early days of wedding photography, most couples of more humble means did not hire a photographer to record the actual wedding itself. In fact, most people did not even pose for formal wedding photos during the wedding until the later half of the 19th century. They might pose for a formal photograph in their best clothes before or after a wedding. At the time, photos were printed on small metal sheets known as daguerreotype. Even though inventions and processes changed over time, the technology still remained bulky, slow and expensive. For this reason, wedding pictures were often limited to the wealthy in society. Early wedding photography was restricted to a studio. Couples would dress in nice clothes and go in before or after their wedding. Toward the end of the 19th century, the bride and groom began wearing their wedding attire for their picture. George Eastman, the founder of Eastman Kodak, patented roll film and later Kodak Black, the camera designed to use it. Instead of relying on heavy equipment to take pictures, photography became much more accessible. The reduced exposure time made it much more easier to take photographs. Couples were now able to get more than one photograph of their special day. Although photographic film was an expense to some, it allowed couples to at least have photos with family members. This meant more poses and more images of the entire wedding day. Thus, the wedding album was born. In the 20th century, with the availability of sheet film, flashbulb lighting, portable and faster cameras, on-location photography flourished. Images of candid marriage moments began to emerge with these new technologies. After the Second World War, there was an increase in marriages, and this resulted in wedding photography becoming a profitable trade. People who may have taken photography during the war, or amateurs picking photography up as a hobby, began to gatecrash weddings. It was in the 1960s that wedding photographs began to be shot on color film, and some couples opted for their images to be taken in a photojournalistic style that weird away from formal poses. This style of photography completely transformed the market and paved the way for how photographers capture weddings today. Camera shy newlyweds have been replaced by affectionate, even intimate couples who are comfortable around their wedding photography entourage. The digital era brought in a whole new way to capture weddings. Elaborate weddings gave an opportunity for the setting up of professional wedding photographer brands. Choosing the right photographer became an imminent task for the couple at stake. With a plethora of photographers in the market, couples now had the privilege of choosing those who not only gave them stunning captures of their big day, but also eased the process of finally getting their album at hand. Wedding photographers today are creating a mark for themselves by using customized apps to enhance the whole photo experience, not just for the bride and groom, but also for their family and friends. In an Insta world, couples no longer need to wait until the album arrived to showcase their wedding to the world. 
even celebrities tease their fans for that first click of their big day. Modern wedding photography has indeed come a long way from its humble beginnings. With virtual events and the meta world becoming a reality, we are indeed at the cusp of a whole new way to snap a shot of tying the knot.